And now, the facts. This program is dedicated to the belief that truth can be sillier than fiction. All of these facts are true. Only the funny ones will make you laugh. Richard Lewis and welcome to The Facts, a show that's dedicated to any of you who feel a little intimidated by this flood of information that we're forced to confront every day in this computer age. I mean, it's, it's getting ridiculous now. Take a look at this. Fact. One out of five German men brush their teeth only on special occasions. An average of one out of two doorbells do not work. A single strand of hair can reveal a person's sex and race nice. But every now and then, you know, we want to know more about people. I've got a great friend who has spent like an entire life just digging up facts to find out what makes us tick. I've got to warn you, he's, uh, he's, he's not a well man, and yet he's, uh, he's a well-intentioned man. I'll give you Gordon Lehman. I'll bet your name is Lisa. Are you French? You look sensational in that rhinestone belt. The pickup lines. They may sound silly, awkward, even dumb, and yet they have a real purpose because people can't have a conversation until someone says the first word. Hi, I'm sociologist Gordon Lehman. You know, people need people. Fact. Scientists have found that people who live alone have a premature death rate that's two to ten times higher than people who live with others. If you live alone and can't cope with it, you'll see a doctor more often, and your hospital stays will be twice as long as someone who's married. It's no wonder this book, How to Pick Up Girls, has sold over 600,000 copies. It offers the hope of companionship. But do the lines in this book really work? Well, in the interest of science, I'll put these lines to the test. Remember, this is only a test. Our hidden camera will record the results. Hi. You look sensational in that blouse. Is, is that... <laughs> I'll bet your name is Lisa. No. No? Excuse me. I'll bet your name is Lisa. No. No? I bet your name is Lisa. You want a Lisa, you got a Lisa. Excuse me, weren't, weren't you this year's Rose Bowl queen? <laughs> Was she? Is she? Can you do better than that? <laughs> Laura. No. Excuse me, are you French? No. Oh, you really have a mysterious, exotic quality. Uh, are you French? Yes. You are? Is your name Lisa? No. No. Are you French? Yes. Yeah. French? Not Lisa. <laughs> One out of three. Where did you get that great bag? Oh, somebody gave it to me. Ouch. I think I have a piece of glass in my foot. Would you take a look? Do you have an aspirin? <laughs> well, some of those women showed amazing restraint, don't you think? We've tried a few of the lines in this book. But, fellas, you might ask, are these lines any better than lines I could make up for myself? Well, let's go to the typical singles bar and find out. Unless you gotta get up early. They call me Big Ben. Wanna ring my bell? Mm-hmm. 
great in a crumbled heap on my floor. Hey, your place or your place? <laughs> I only have 24 hours to live. Fellas, did you see a little of yourself in there? <laughs> I think so. And so does Lisa. Or was it Connie? Lana. In 1740, a cow was found guilty of sorcery and publicly hanged. I can't believe it. I just spent $18 on an electronic game across the street during my break. Not time to eat. Believe me, I'm not alone. Have any idea how big video games are? Forget about it. And last year, five billion dollars was spent in video arcades. I mean, that's more than twice as much as gambled in Las Vegas. Anyone know something else? Where most of the money spent comes from? Children's lunch money. Hey, come on, let's go where the action is. Says this youngster, what do you spend in the arcade? Fifty dollars a week. Strange, your father gives her five dollars a week allowance. You figure it out. His player. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's very into it here. Just looking at his face, you gotta wonder how much reading does this man do? You know, I doubt he'll ever get to Lord Jim. Well, here's a person who apparently threw away an entire career as a concert pianist to spend all his time and money in an arcade. Look at him go. And look at his dedication. This is something. You know, you just look in his face. You have to wonder. What kind of woman would he want to marry? I don't know. Probably someone who has to have sex in a maze. Well, he could do a lot worse than that, believe me. Here's a seemingly a very nice father and son spending an afternoon together. Seems to be developing some ticks and tremors here, Father, doesn't it? I hope this is not another example of arcade abuse. Fact. Any lounge singer can ruin any Rolling Stones song. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Been around for many a year. Hey, laid many a soul to ways. Being a housewife is one of the five most boring jobs in America. The average housewife spends 25 hours a year making beds. Every year, more than eight housewives run away from home. Okay, you ready? Let's... Only you would run away with a matching set of luggage. Uh, Gloria, I've never what? done this before. What, packed? No, uh, no, well, I mean, you know, this, I... We've been over this a hundred times. Now, are you with me on this or not? I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's go. Uh, you that a girl. Oh! Uh, what's in this? Oh, just some small appliances. You know, uh, some good knives, a tabletop brolomatic, a no. little toasterette. And... We're leaving our husbands. We're not opening a pawn shop. But, Gloria, these are my friends. They're not your friends. You've been a slave to these for nine years. Now, come on. We're, we're out of here. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop, Gloria. What? Before we go, I made us up a list of do's and don'ts. Right. Don't wear mixed blend fabrics when you're driving. Your skirt will hike up and the truckers can look right in the window. Really? But do wear cotton because that's breathes. Right. And don't eat cream pies in a diner because they can kill you. <laughs> right. But do eat a green thing every day. <laughs> Get in the car. You know, Kate? I'm leaving the most insensitive, selfish jerk to roam the earth. You think that's bad? Do you know what Ernst did yesterday? He threw my new Dacron kimono into the wash during the spin cycle. Is that bad? During the spin cycle? I'm just glad we left. Richard was always groping. He was touching. Really? Oh, sexual problems? Oh, the man's a twisted pervert. Do you know what he keeps in the bedroom? A wind machine. I mean, that's really sick. Oh, for him, it's normal. 
We're talking about a guy who's obnoxious, self-centered, unappreciative, despicable. Oh, come on, Gloria. Nobody could be that bad. Hi, honey. I'm broke. <laughs> hey. Honey, I'm home and I don't smell my drink yet. What's happening in this house? I get it, you're too busy not doing the dishes. What is there, a dirty dish drive on or something? Sweetheart, I'm walking over to the bar. I'm pouring my own drink. Me, the guy that was at lunch for three hours today, the station manager boss, so I can keep you in designer jeans. Okay? Great. Now I'm walking over to the couch, dear. And as I'm walking, I'm going to sit down. And as I'm sitting, a foot massage is not occurring. <laughs> Gloria, babe, visit me soon, okay? Dad? 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 Dad, Dad, guess what? Don't bother, Dad, when he has a drink in his hand, okay, Sparky? Please. Jason, Dad. Great, listen, before you go, which is going to be like any second now, do me a favor, all right? Pull that ottoman in. Come on, I know you're a strong kid. I know you can do it. Pull it in and put Daddy's feet up on it. What a good little Schwarzenegger. That's it. Great. Can I show you what I do in school today? What, are you a favor now because you put my feet up? Well, look, our house. It's great. You didn't even look at it. Mm. Yeah, like our house really has red smoke coming out of the chimney and an orange tree in the yard. It's very realistic. Dad. No, never mind that. Why don't you do something constructive, like go to your room and build Daddy a new Corvette, all right? But Dad, never I... mind that. I have to watch adult cable TV. He got to be 17 to stay in the room, right? Go up to him and find a fake ID, and he can come back, all right? <laughs> Gloria? 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 What? I don't recognize any of these shopping centers. <laughs> This is all a big mistake. Ernst isn't such a bad man. So what if he gets sloppy and spills beer down the front of his shirt? I just shout it out. Does he thank you when you do that? Maybe I should go back. We're talking freedom here. Freedom to do exactly what you want. You're right. I didn't want Harvest Gold. And all those years with a front loader? You're right. Step on it, Gloria. How did you tell Ernst you were leaving? I packed him 18 lunches, put it in the fridge with a big watermelon and a note in cheese bread. And you? You'll die. I left Richard a video cassette. Shove this into the cassette machine. Love, Gloria. Great joke, man. I mean, what, what is this, Gloria? What are you doing here? Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Good. <clears throat> Dear Dick. Yeah, Dick, sure. Richard, to you. Sorry I can't be with you. By now, hopefully, I'm with another man. No, make that men. Yeah, yeah you make it men. How about making men dinner? Manners. Men who spend money on me. Honey, men that's very dinner. unfair. Look at these of gifts course. I've lavished upon you. Out of love. Hey, huh. Did you get a personal break here or what? So, Richard, have yourself a great life because I know I will. Hey. And what more can I say except... I'm history. Gloria, are you serious? You're gone, honey? Sparky. Sparky, come in here, babe. Come here. Come here. Sit on Daddy's lap. Jason, Dad. Jason, right. Yes, you know, you and I don't know each other that well, do we, babe? We can start communicating. Father, son, you and I, me and you. And there's some important things that I want to know about you. Like, can you cook a steak? <laughs> In Rumford, Maine, it is against the law to bite your landlord. But glue on the back of a postage stamp equals one-tenth of a calorie. Listen, Mish, I, I know the Russians had the first woman in space. I know, I know, and the youngest man. Right, I, listen, with all due respect, we had six landings on the moon, okay? So give me a break. Look, I'll try to get to them. No promises. I don't know. Goodbye. He's so pushy, this guy. I can't believe it. You know, you think he's gonna call so fast if he had, like, a Doberman running around in space in a balloon? Forget about it. Man, what the heck. You know, maybe if I connect up with those two cosmonauts, uh, it'll help relations. Who knows? Let me see if I can find that television, uh, contact somewhere. This might be it right over... Here it is. Yeah. He's with you. Hey. Hey, hey, guys. Yuri. Boy. Hello. 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 Ted. Ted Koppel. Hello. 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 Okay. Hey, I'll be Ted Koppel. How you doing? You look very nice up there in space. Very happy. Oh, indeed. It's 1092 of uh, the Soviet space flight. A new record, Ted. Uh, we have staying power. 
Americans go up, come down. We stay. Is the Russians more advanced than you? Well, 92 days. 92 days is sensational. You think you need anything from Earth? Should I run to a pharmacy for you? Yes. Could you get me some dental floss, please? I have no, no, we have everything. Right here, everything. Everything, everything right here? Then you get this thing out of my tooth. It's been here 14 days, okay? Mr. I have a look. Yes. Listen, gentlemen, gentlemen, I don't mean to interrupt your experiment, but are you too hip to the fact that, uh... Well, let me rephrase that for a second. Are you aware of how successful America has been with their reusable shuttle? Reusable, big deal. We get new spacecraft every time. Soviets first in space, in track and field, in fashion, fashion. rubber tires, fashion. tractor Morris, farms. Morris, Morris, I have some information here about you. Apparently, I didn't uh, do it. I didn't do it. She was young farm girl. She put sickle to my throat. No, no, no. no we know me. that that case was going out of court. I'm referring to the fact that this is your very first mission. True. So apparently you're going to be a very big hero when you get to Russia. Big hero, yeah. I get to oh, shave yes. and uh, take big, a big hero, big hero. Well, you know, here in America, our astronauts, they go on to become senators and uh, presidents of big corporations and... No uh, lie? Oh, he's, he's a superior lie. Well, no, 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 it's true. They make lots of money. They make lots of money. They do television commercials and endorsements. Yo, and, TV uh, commercials. Absolutely. In fact, Boris, maybe you should mention this when you get back. I will. In fact, I'm curious, when are you uh, getting back? This is here. Open return. Open return? Yes, that means we go home when they tell us. You go home when they tell you. I want to go home and audition for TV commercial. I want to be on TV. I want commercial. I want to be We let you go now, Fred Cobb. That's fine. Thank you very much. Don't be strange, I'm sorry. This will get sued, the government. All powerful. Okay, the, uh, the facts will be right back. The average love affair lasts 18 months. Hello? Yeah, hi. You called long distance to tell me a fact? That's very nice of you, but really, I... Okay, okay what is it? You can tell me. Go on. What? The last time they used a guillotine was where? In France? In 1977? That's, that's terrific. Listen, uh... You really should know this. Uh, Richard Rose is the guy who lives for these kind of facts. Well, why don't you call him, really? He's, he's on the fact phone. I'm going to try to get him up now. He's the one. Okay, bye. Hey, really, everybody, I am overloaded here. Look, there's a ton of facts here. So if you really want to share a fact, uh, call Rose. I mean, he's the one who loves this stuff. So let's go to him right now. Good luck. Uh, you know, these numbers are flashing across the screen. Those are the numbers that you call if you want to talk to me. If you think you have a fact, that's uh, something I don't know about already, then you're pretty good, because if it's not a real fact, we have ways of knowing. So call the numbers on the screen if you want to talk to me. If you don't want to talk to me, don't call the numbers on the screen. Hello, fact phone, you're on the air. Hi, Richard, it's Carla. Carla, hi. I've called in to help all the failing actresses in, oh, in Hollywood. How sweet of you, Carla. See, what I know is that Lucille Ball was 40 years old when she started I Love Lucy in 1951. What do you think of that? Bam, bam, bam. I say, Lucy, don't come down to the club. Tell Fred and Ethel to take care of little Ricky, and you can't be on the show. Hello, fact phone, you're on the air. Hello, Richard. Yeah. Hi, I really enjoy your show. Thank you. And I'm 94. How old are you? May I ask how you old? How old 94 are? years old. 94. Well, you better not be wasting your time with me. You don't have much left. Hello, fact phone, you're on the air. Yeah, Richard, I'm marrying a, a gal from Ethiopia. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and the uh, reason I'm calling is because uh, there's a lot of customs here i got to get used to. Yeah. Uh, this one, I wanted to tell you that a husband... How did you meet her, babe? I met her at a, uh, at a mixer. <laughs> An Ethiopian mixer? Well, no, it was in uh, New Jersey, but yeah. she was traveling through. Good. And it's a custom that uh, husbands and wives from there have to sleep in a single nightgown. I wonder what you thought about that. Let me sleep on it. Hello, back phone, you're in here. Hello, Richard. Hello. You cut me off. Oh, I'm sorry. How'd you get back on? Hello, you're on the air. Back on. Hi. I'm Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles. No last name, babe? Uh -huh. or? No, I just call him Mr. Charles. Okay. I work downtown in the Mart. Oh, do you have hairspray in your tongue, or...? No. Oh, okay. What's the problem? Well, I have an fact. interesting fact about the average woman. I cater to the average woman at you Mr. Charles. You cater to the average woman at Mr. Charles? Yes, but you don't mind if I plug. Plug what, babe? Mr. Charles. Your, your shop? Yes. Like it's the only one, right? Well, I... Do me a favor, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hello, fact phone. You're on the air. Grace Kelly was the first motion picture actress, actress to appear on a postage stamp. Thanks. Fact phone. You're on. Let's go hold the calls for now. And, uh, we'll be back in a minute. We're going to take a break, but uh, don't forget that number. See you later. Okay? Fact. More than...
more than half of the family doctors in America claim to make house calls. <laughs> At the present rate of inflation, in the year 2000, the average candy bar will cost $8.20. And that's without almonds. Hey, I am impressed. I just figured it out here. We touched upon hundreds of facts tonight. It's not bad. Of course, there's about a billion left. But hey. The average wedding feast in Yemen lasts 21 days. But when refrigerated, elephant tusks have been known to explode. But during the average day, Americans drink 60 million cans of beer. But in Waterville, Maine, it is a violation to blow your nose in public. But the Bushmen of Australia are the world's greatest cat's cradle players. But Spiders on drugs have distinct problems making proper webs. Poppy leads to badly organized, haphazard webs. Webs spun by spiders on marijuana.